Hello today, welcome to RD Chemistry. In today's video, we'll discuss problem solving tricks in the chapter Chemical Kinetics. Here, we'll see the types of the different formula list which will be asked in the board examination and in the competitive exam. So, let us start now. Now, how to write down the rate of the chemical reaction? Now, whenever chemical reaction is there, assume the reactant R gives the product P. So, we can write down the rate with respect to reactant or as in the case of the products. So, the rate is equal to change in concentration, change in concentration either in terms of the reactant or in terms of product divided by time interval. So, divided by time. But there are two types of rate of the reaction one is the average rate and other one is the instantaneous rate. With respect to the reactant, we'll write on the minus and with respect to the product, we'll write on the plus sign. Now, average rate with respect to reactant is minus because as the time increases, the concentration of the reactant decreases. So, the delta R, concentration R, delta stands for difference divided by time interval, difference in time, delta T. With respect to the product, I'll write on plus here and delta product concentration divided by delta T. Okay. Now, what is this instantaneous rate? Instantaneous rate is a small change in concentration divided by small change in the time interval. So, we'll be writing minus. So, we'll be writing delta instead of delta difference in small letter T R divided by DT is equal to plus small difference in the product concentration divided by small time interval change dTS. Clear? So this is a difference between average and the instantaneous which is studied actually in terms of graphs. Suppose the equation given like this x moles of A reacts to the y moles of B giving z moles of C then how to write down the rate law expression which is determined experimentally using a law of mass action using the law of mass action rate is uh, equal to constant k called as the rate constant or specific reaction rate into concentration a into concentration of b now there are moles y, x and y so they can be equal to x equal to y or or rate can also be equal to constant k into concentration of a to the power p into concentration b to the power y to the power say q here okay now p can be equal to x p may not be equal to x and q may be equal to y and q need not be equal to y because this is experiment determined rate equation therefore take the now some p plus q is known as the this sum is called as the order of the reaction which may be equal to x plus y or may not be equal to x plus y remember this is always determined experimentally experimental condition okay right suppose we have got zero order reaction assuming the reactant r giving the product p correct Therefore, rate is equal to constant K into concentration R to the power 0. Correct? Huh? So, rate is equal to constant K into 1. Right? Now, I want to find out first what is the unit of rate. Unit of rate is equal to, it is a change in concentration. So, concentration term in terms of mole per liter. Correct? Divided by time interval, you have got second inverse. Correct? Huh? So, this is actually the unit of rate. Now, what is the unit of K? Here in the zero order reaction, it remains the same. The unit of K is equal to same thing, mole, liter inverse, second inverse because they equal to each other. And we are derived in the board syllabus the integrated rate equation for the zero order reaction K is equal to R naught, initial constant is minus R at the time interval T divided by the time interval T, right? This is for the zero order reaction. Also, we have learnt uh, half life for the zero order reaction is equal to R naught initial constant is divided by uh, 2 K here, correct? And see here, in this case, zero order reaction, 
half life is directly proportional to r not that means as the initial concentration changes the half life also changes so it depends on the initial concentration right now let us move on to the first order reaction assuming reactant r gives the product p so according to the rate law expression the rate is equal to constant k into concentration r to the power 1 correct suppose i want to calculate the unit of k the unit of k would be rate divided by the concentration of r to the power 1 so what is the unit of rate student the unit of rate is equal to mole liter inverse second inverse correct divided by what is the concentration r concentration the but mole per liter to the power 1 itself so this mole per liter mole per liter get cancel so in case of first order reaction the unit of k is equal to second inverse correct now we also study the integrated rate equation k is equal to for first order reaction 2.303 divided by the time interval t log of initial concentration r not divided by the final concentration at time interval t also you have learned t of is equal to 0.693 divided by constant k right now see here in this case half life is a independent of the initial concentration there is no initial concentration here so therefore half life is always a constant what will be the initial concentration okay in the case of first order reaction now remember here in case of first order reaction t 50 percentage t half t 50 percentage is to t 75 percentage is to t 87.5 percentage is to t 93.75 percentage this is the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 3 is to 4 ratio okay which means t 75 percentage 75 is equal to 2 times the t 50 percentage or t 87.5 percentage is equal to 3 times the t 50 percentage similarly t 93.75 percentage is equal to 4 times the t 50 percentage and goes on like this so this is the formula you can remember for the competitive examination you need not derive as such okay also remember t 99.9 percentage is equal to approximately t 10 times the t 50 percentage of the reaction right okay clear now in terms of fraction what is the time taken for the reactant to reduce to nth fraction now it is reduced nth fraction that means reduced to 1 by 3 1 by 4 like 1 by 5 reduced to so how to find out the time for that time is equal to 2.303 divided by the rate constant k then log of let me take the initial concentration is equal to 1 unit and it is reduced to i'm speaking with respect to reduced to reduced to say 1 by 3 okay 1 by 3 clear right or oh, there is one more term suppose one unit is given now completed is 1 by 3 is completed 1 by 3 is completed how much is remaining now remaining is 1 minus 1 by 3 which is a equal to now it is a 3 minus 1 divided by 3 is equal to 2 by 3 is remaining now this is remaining now in this case okay how to find out time t is equal to 1 by 3 is completed is equal to 2.303 divided by k log of let the initial constant is one equal unit one unit divided by how much is remaining now 1 by 3 is completed so remaining is a 2 by 3 so you have to remember the difference between how much is completed and how much is remaining or how much is reduced okay so this is the difference here clear students also concentration of the substance left after n half lives assuming the half life is equal to say 15 minutes and the time given is equal to say 45 minutes in 45 minutes how many half lives are there 
So I can write it as 3 into 3 into 15 minutes. That means in 45 minutes, how many half lives are there? T half lives are there. So that is the meaning of n half lives. So concentration is substance left. Okay. So remaining concentration, remaining concentration or amount of substance left. Okay. Is I let the R remaining concentration R. So connected to initial concentration R naught divided by 2 to the power n. And this n stands for number of half lives. Number of half lives here. Clear? Number of half lives. That means suppose I take say 45 minutes. After 45 minutes, how much of the substance is left? So this is taken as the in terms of R naught divided by what is the initial quantity divided by 2 to the power 3 here in this case. In terms of percentage also can calculate. In terms of percentage, I can write it, write it as the equal to 100 percentage, 100 divided by 2 to the power 3. Or in terms of fraction, how much fraction is remaining? That tax I can take the initial, let it be 1 unit divided by 2 to the power 3. Clear? Yeah? So I can write in terms of percentage, in terms of fraction also. Clear? Yeah? Remember, student, half life for any order reaction is directly proportional to R0 to the power 1 minus n. For example, if n is equal to 0 order reaction, you know that T half is directly proportional to R0, which already have seen. Exact one is T half is equal to R0 divided by 2k. Correct? Suppose I take n is equal to 1, in that case T half is equal to R0 1 minus 1, 0, that means uh, it will be some number constant, proportional to some constant it is, correct? Independent of the concentration term here, correct? So that's why you got for first order reaction T of is equal to 0 0.693 divided by K, does not depend on the initial concentration, clear? Suppose there are two half lives are there, so I can write it as the first T half divided by second T half, let me take T1 and T2, so is equal to let it be for the first one, R1 divided by R2. R1 is the initial concentration. R2 is the initial, also initial concentration for two different types to the power 1 minus n. Suppose I know T value, suppose I know R values, then I can evaluate the order of the reaction. Okay? Clear? Now we have the very important term equation called as the Arrhenius equation. That is, uh, according to Arrhenius, uh, the rate constant k is equal to Arrhenius constant a into e to the power minus ea divided by rt, correct? So, a stands for the activation energy, you already learnt. So, if I take uh, ln on both the sides, ln k is equal to ln a minus ea divided by rt. Suppose I take in terms of log, it would be equal to log k is equal to log A minus Ea divided by 2.303 into Rt, correct? And you know that, and when the temperature changes, rate constant K also changes, therefore can also be written in terms of log K2 divided by K1 is equal to Ea divided by 2.303 into R into T2 minus T1 divided by T1 into T2. Correct? Now see here the second, this equation written here. This equation the form Y is equal to Mx plus C. Now this equation is straight line, but we have got a negative slope here. Correct? So therefore, if I plot along Y axis, if I go for log K, the K value changes as temperature changes. So there we have got then X. X term is 1 by T I can take. 1 by T variable. 1 by T is a variable. Temperature variable. Therefore log K is variable. Correct? We are going to get a straight line. But since the slope is negative. We are going to get this kind of slope. Uh, straight line. This slope is equal to here. Minus Ea divided by 2.303 in terms of R. Right? Right? And finally, we have got collision theory. According to collision theory, rate 
a is equal to p into z into e to the power minus ea divided by rt correct so p stand for the probability factor here probability factor whereas z stand for the collision frequency z stand for collision frequency collision frequency and you know that ea is the activation energy and r and t you know the r is the universal gas constant t is the temperature intercept of kelvin right so these are the formulas to be required to remember in the board examination as well as in the competitive exam please do like share and subscribe rd chemistry youtube channel as well as the telegram channel thank you have a nice day